Around our planet, humanity faces many shared and serious challenges. Recurring global economic crises, climate change, inequalities in development and human rights, armed conflict, terrorism and nuclear risks. As we face these dangers together, the world needs credible and sustained leadership. How can we find solutions to these shared problems that are essentially political? How do we overcome systemic resistance to change? Many good ideas exist for innovation, but how do we build bridges from knowledge to power? The Center for International Governance Innovation, CG, is an independent, non-partisan think tank that researches and promotes innovation in global governance. CG was founded in 2001 in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. Through research and policy development in international governance, CG aims to contribute to a more prosperous, sustainable, equitable and peaceful world. No matter what measurements you use, there are clear gaps in the global mechanisms for dealing with our biggest problems, whether it's prosperity, sustainability, security, or development. There continues to be a need for strong and informed leadership, so it's vital that our world leaders are supported by the best minds available. The challenges facing the world are growing more complex. So if you look at the global financial crisis, where we continue to face the aftermath, if you look at the questions of climate change, if you look at issues of nuclear safety, these are all global issues which we confront together and which no government by itself can resolve. CG is one of a handful of international research centers that are at the forefront of research on international governance innovation. CG is developing the ideas that will inform governance decisions for the next decades and generations to come. CG's impact and influence has been driven by the organization's commitment to produce high-caliber research to inform policy and improve the quality of life globally. Research is done in various ways for various reasons. CG's mandate really is driven by a series of large questions around uh, the future of global society and global concerns, a recognition that there are large challenges that can't be addressed by a single country, a single sovereign state or government. I think CG research is targeted to influence the policy community, but hopefully because it's based on strong empirical work, theoretically informed, uh, it should also resonate with uh, the larger research community, it should resonate with uh, universities, both uh, faculty and students, and it should inform public debate. CG has very strong research capacity both in-house and through a network uh, that is global. Uh, but just as important, if not more important, uh, it has the capacity to move ideas into the public space and make them happen. A think tank's measure of worth is, in part, to be able to point to specific policy outcomes and say that it made a real contribution. In less than a decade, CG has already established a pattern of success. CG is one of the only think tanks that can claim not just to have studied, but also to help bring into being an international framework of countries. CG's path-breaking L20 studies resulted in part in the creation of the G20 uh, grouping. So I think CG has gone from kind of theory to practice in a remarkable way. What I appreciate about CG especially is that I think they do a great job of keying into the forces of change in this world and, uh, and having a very strong grasp of their implications for global governance. CG is uh, rare in Canada for being such a big and influential think tank. I think we need a lot more CGs, frankly, um, in order to inform the, the level of sophistication in uh, Canadian foreign policy debate. CG has established itself as the premier uh, institution uh, studying uh, global institutional reform. Always difficult to understand what the work of a think tank is. It is a bit like water on a stone, but I do think CG is softening things up. Well, CG helps keep issues on the agenda, issues that remain important even though they may not be the fashion of the moment. That's extraordinarily important. I think we all understand just how important 
CG was to the elevation of the G20 to the leaders level. In those early days, the network that CG built up, the research, the analysis that it provided was absolutely essential to the G20's success and to its acceptability all through the countries who make up the, make up the G20 and as well those countries who unfortunately, for one reason or another, are not part of it. But what we should also understand is just how important CG is going ahead. The G20 is still in its early days. To be able to deal with the fundamental issues, especially at this very delicate time, as the West seems to slow down and the, the East is surging, is going to be very, very important as we establish that equilibrium. CG is going to play an important role in all of this. Its research, its analysis, and its ability to deal with these issues. And I'm very proud to have worked with them throughout this period. We've been the recipients of incredibly good fortune. We've always been able to attract world-class expertise to CG, and that's led us not only to have great impact, but it has also set us in the right direction for the future.